Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Baby Love Book Hauls if you wish to subscribe. Okay, so in my previous video I showed you the females that I just got the baby fry out of and I will show you the fry very, very soon. But first of all, I wanted to show you these new Endla guppies that I've added to my tank. They're a new little addition. They're tiny. They look like guppies, except they're smaller. They're ever such a cute little new addition to my tank. And I'm quite pleased with them. So, these are the old guppies, the original ones I had that I've just bred from, that I got the fry from. And uh, these new little endlers are going to be causing some havoc in my tank, I'm sure. They're running after things. Really cute little things. Absolutely love them. So I'll keep you up to date on how my endlers get on with my male guppies. And the male guppies have changed quite a lot. You'll notice as well. They've got a lot bigger, the colours have come out. Still got three of the yellow ones, three of the dark purple ones. One cobra one, and one cobra half dark baby just below in there. So I've got the tetras, neon tetras, and I still have one adult catfish in there. And I still have some of the rummy noses. They're a bit camera shy. Just two of those now. The other ones didn't survive for some reason. Okay, so what we all want to see is the fry. Tons and tons of little baby fry. Lots and lots of baby fry in there. They are literally the size of a grain of rice. The dark-tailed mum, she gave me seven about a week ago and the lesser dark one gave me about 15 odd babies today. I wish I could get a better view of them for you. Well, they're all happy swimming inside there. Lots and lots and lots of them. Okay, and over here we have the previous ones that I was raising that got spat out either randomly in here when I had those 14 females in here which went to my friends or it was from my son's tank and it was one that got caught by one of the yellow dads by accident and it gave me some rather funky little mixes just inside here if you see on the previous video there was a dark female that looks much like this that I put in my son's tank that I kept because she had a bit of red and yellow in her tail so it was a bit different from the plain dark tailed fish but that one is going to a pet shop that one's going to a local pets at home in Kendall and so is that one those two together there they're going to a local pet shop this one I'm going to keep just one of the blonde ones with the funny bits on its tail. I'm going to keep like this one. Whoop. If it stays still, I'm going to keep that one. And these two are going to the pet shop. But I'm keeping that one. God, they're so quick. There's a few more in there that aren't really ready to decide for what to do with yet. And I can't tell what they are yet. They've also not been sexed yet. But those three big ones are definitely all female. And I'll let you guys know when I get some boys and what the boys look like. And I'll keep you guys up to date with these ones when I manage to sex them between female and male. Okay, bye for now guys. 